Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 6, lesson 1, decimal fractions. Topic A, exploration of tenths. Lesson 1 has three activities in it. I'm going to take you through each one of the activities. In the first activity, it has a scale. The scale is showing 10 bags of rice. When all 10 bags of rice are on the scale, the weight is 1 kilogram. Let's take a look at what this would look like with a tape diagram. What you would see is that you have one kilogram being the whole. Your whole can be separated into ten different parts, and all of those parts are equal. Now let's imagine that we took some of these bags of rice off of the scale. In this case, now I just have one bag of rice. So let's think about what that would look like on our tape diagram. The whole showing one kilogram, I would only have one part of that. And that one part would be one tenth of the whole. Now, the reading on the scale would have to change, but we're not going to put a one tenth written as a fraction there. We will put one tenth written as a decimal, like that, zero decimal one kilograms. And we would read that as one-tenth kilogram, just like the fraction. Let's show this idea on a number line. I'm going to create a number line that is roughly about the same size as my tape diagram. When I look at my number line, I can see that here on my number line, I would have one-tenth. So now this number line is showing that I have one bag of rice, and that measures one-tenth of a kilogram. What's going to show on the scale is going to be zero decimal one. And on the number line, 0 decimal 1 is at the same place as 1 tenth. When we read 0 decimal 1, we read it as 1 tenth. Because that's what it is. That's what it means. It's the same as this fraction. So when you see this, 0 decimal 1, you say the fraction, 1 tenth. Now, let's say we were to add another bag of rice to the scale. Well, the scale is no longer going to read 0 decimal 1. I'm going to have 2 tenths, because I will have two parts of my whole. The decimal will read 0 decimal 2. We'll say it as 2 tenths, and that's what the scale will say. And this continues. If I add another bag of rice, then I would be at 3 tenths, which would look like that. If I add another bag of rice, I would have to go to 4 tenths. If I add another bag of rice, then I would be at 5 tenths. And another bag of rice would put me at 6 tenths. This bag of rice would bring me to 7 tenths. And when I write it as a decimal, it's 0 decimal 7. So my scale will change. Put on another bag of rice. I'm at 8 tenths. So 8 tenths is what my scale will read. 8 tenths of a kilogram. Another bag of rice will give me 9 tenths. My scale will change to 9 tenths kilogram. 
And when I put my last bag of rice on, I will be at 10 tenths, which is the same as one whole. So my scale will read one kilogram. This is an activity that you may have done in class. Your teacher could have given you a meter stick and then given you some strips of paper that were cut out and they were about the same size as the meter stick. You were supposed to take your strip of paper and divide it up into ten equal parts. Like that. And then shade in some of the parts. So you would work with your group and you would choose how many you're going to shade in. And then we would have taken your strip of paper and compared it to the rest of the class. Like this. Let's say one student decided to shade in three of their parts. Then the teacher would say, okay, so that's three tenths plus how many more would equal one whole? Well, if three plus seven is ten, then three-tenths plus seven-tenths would be ten-tenths, and ten-tenths is equal to one whole. If you were to write this as a decimal, it would look like this. Zero decimal three, which is three-tenths, plus zero decimal seven, which is seven-tenths, equals one whole. Another student in class may have decided I'm not going to shade any of mine in, so they would have zero tenths. Zero tenths plus how many tenths would equal one whole? Well, zero tenths plus ten tenths would equal one whole. But how would that be written as a decimal? Really, it would just be written as zero plus one equals one. Or you could write zero decimal one plus one equals one. Another student in class may have done it this way. They may have taken their strip of paper and shaded in six parts. Six tenths plus four tenths equals one. And as a decimal, it would be written like this. Six tenths plus four tenths equals one. Someone may have shaded in eight of their parts. So eight tenths plus two tenths equals one whole. And as a decimal you would write eight tenths plus two tenths equals one whole. Someone in class might have shaded in five tenths of their strip of paper. So five tenths plus five tenths equals one whole. And as a decimal you would write five tenths plus five tenths equals one whole. Someone might have decided just to shade in one of the parts. So that would be one tenth plus nine tenths equals one whole. And as a decimal you would write it like this. One tenth plus nine tenths equals one whole. So here's another activity that your teacher may have asked you to do. She would have given you a centimeter ruler. And I'm going to say that this centimeter ruler is not to scale, which means on your screen this is not really one centimeter. One centimeter is a lot smaller than that. But I'm going to use this as my ruler. So she might have asked you to draw a line that is one centimeter long. So I'm going to do that by starting at the zero and drawing my line to the one, because that's telling me that's one centimeter. And then she might have said, okay, now separate your line into ten parts. Well, my centimeter ruler is separated into ten parts. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten parts make up one centimeter. And she wants me to mark them, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is, is the last one. Okay, so now I'm going to move my ruler out of the way so I can see what I've created. And here's my line separated into ten parts. Now I have to find nine tenths and mark nine tenths on here. So that's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. So I'm going to mark it right there. Now let's think about nine tenths. Nine tenths. If I want to get to one whole, or ten tenths, how much further do I need to go? Nine tenths plus one tenth is equal to ten tenths. Ten tenths is equal to one whole. So if I want to write this as a decimal, I would write nine tenths plus one tenth equals one whole. That's going to take care of things for lesson one where we've been using the metric measurements to model the decomposition of one whole into tenths.